Hi everyone and welcome back to another BTLO replay. Be sure to follow us on X, link in, or join the Discord server to keep in touch with the BTLO community. Links are in the description box below. Hi everyone, and for this episode we are going to solve a lab named Hashish, a uh, dif medium difficulty security operations lab. So we will solve this lab using different Windows artifacts and a tool named Impacket. So let's read the scenario. Some confidential administrator documents were stolen. They did not have match logging in place because, as per the company, it was on the secure side and did not have public networking enabled. One of the cleaners was suspiciously going in and out of the room, as seen on the CCTV recordings. Some updates were made to the server through RDP session as administrator before the attack was known. You are provided access to the system in a state that was found. The damage has been done, but how was the documents accessed? So to start this lab, we're going to check the, the shortcut files or the link files can be found inside the show hidden items. Sorry, app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows. And recent items. Here we have a series of interesting things such as the dumper and the sumhive. If we right click the, on this file we will know where it's located so we are going to this location also the sumhive temp so we have this three going to copy this out and going back to the recent items since the question is first question is uh what is the cve of the exploit okay so we assume that uh, the dumper or um, a powershell script exists in the recent items which is um a proof that it's uh it's been executed on the system. So we will find um, PowerShell logs if um, how this PowerShell script got into our system, right? So to do that, we're going to the app data still, roaming, Microsoft, let's go to the Windows and PowerShell and the folder name PS readline. So what? uh what this file this file consists of a console host history so if we open this it will give us the logs or the commands executed on uh the powershell since this is um a system that in a state that it was found so it's a fresh system it's a fresh investigation we can see different IOCs such as IP and also the tool that this has been used. So the dumper that PS1 is a invoke night hide hive nightmare that PS1. So the question what is the CV of the exploit? Right? So let's search this thing and let's look for here so invoke nightmare hive nightmare that ps1 so it's a powershell based poc for cv 2021 d6934 which answers our first question so this POC is a uh, for Windows 10 standard users have read and write execute writes files in the system root config directory. This directory con contains the hive files of the system. 
which is the registry hives size under this. That's why we've uh, seen um, some hive. Um, some hive in the recent items, which is uh, which proves that some hive has been accessed. So we have found our answer to question number one, which is the CVE. CVE 2021-36934. Okay. So going back to question number two. So let's go offensive. What is the administra administrator's empty hash? Okay. So to answer this, we have a tool named Impacket. And also, this system has um, a Python 2 installed, which we can see here in the local disk C scripts. And you can see here the secrets at dump, which is part of the impacted tool. So, what we'll do next is we will run impacket some secrets dump some and system hive which is uh, this both are needed we'll execute it using cmd so btlo test let's cd sorry python um let's python.exe scripts Secrets that dump and Sam, and let's point it to the Sam that hive one users test desktop Sam hive that one, and for the system, let's point it to the sys hive that one. Test up sys is okay, and then we will use this um, argument local hit enter. So what's um, secrets dump that by or uh, impact it? Do is uh, it extracts the SAM hive because SAM contains the passwords on the system and voila here's our hash we we asked about the administrators administrators and the hash okay so this one So what is the name of the writable share? Hmm, writable share. It means um what do you call this one? Um SMB, I assume. So we'll go to PowerShell. So we will list all the shares on the system. Get SMB share. So we have um, two default shares, the C and the D, and also the IPC. And I believe this one, this is suspicious, right? Because who would share the entire C windows path, right? So this path is considered odd because um, not everybody should access the c windows um location right we have admin so what is the domain password so for this one okay so let's skip this one because this is uh, going to be a tricky question so what's directory access controls are updated as a workaround to the vulnerability okay since we have Identify that our vulnerability is under um, 
privilege escalation on the system root config directory which could which contains our hives we're going to search for that um cve to identify what uh what is the workaround uh suggested by microsoft itself so here we grab the cve which is the uh 2021-36934 and let's look inside what Microsoft has, tells us about it. It's an elevation of privilege, max severity, important. So going down, so we have the workarounds here. So the question is, what directory access controls are updated as a workaround to the vulnerability? The suggested workaround. So, so the suggested workaround is this one. Those, yep, in there. So the format is okay. Right. So I assume this one is our answer here. Config. Yeah. Voila. So we're down to the last question. So what is the domain admin of the password? So for this one, we are going to since we don't have since we don't have a privilege um I think all this one a uh an elevated privilege. So let me so we don't have access to anything only in our profile also we don't have access to the other system like this so we're, what we are going to do next is we are going to use a tool named um let's see, let's see. this one uh pxxx um okay spawn another terminal or this one let's use this one so what's uh P psxx is a common uh tool for remote transferring remote tools elevating privilege and we will use that for to answer question number four what is the domain admin password so let's cd so we uh currently we are btlo what we're going to do next is this go to the python run python scripts yes exec yes exec then Arguments. Hmm? Okay. Who am I? For reference. Yes, exec. And we're going to use the, the hash of the administrator, which we um, dump using uh, secrets, secrets dump the py administrator. And since we are not working with a remote um remote endpoint, we are going to target only local because because this uh, administrator exists only in the local machine. So what's the IP address is the local host and the hashes hashes we're going to copy this part the intel hem hashes replace it hit enter voila let's run who am i now we have elevated privilege from a normal user to a uh, system so what we're going to do next is to inspect the files 
inside the um, administrator. So our task is to find artifacts or files that contains the domain admin password. So, uh, one of the common files when the profile is created is this one, desktop, documents, downloads. So the question is, where do users typically store their passwords, right? So either in the documents, either in the clipboard, or somewhat between or inside this uh, directory. So at first, let's check the administrator. So let's show the slash a, the forward slash a is um, show hidden files, users, administrators. Let's check the documents. Administrator, users, administrator. There's any, no hidden files here. How about in the desktop? Nothing. So we're going to check this profile. We, do, we have elevated privilege. We are free to roam around. So here is A. The users slash check the desktop. We have we have series of files here. Not that interesting. We're going to check the documents, which is document. Have a couple of things here. DC the text. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The secret the docs. Uh, this is the file size, which tells us that uh, this is empty. And the DC the text is uh, having 39 bytes. Means this is not an empty file. Okay. Check. DC the text. Order to view the file, the type, yeah, got it. So administrator, the domain password, the main admin password of the administrator is this one. So let's solve the lab. Voila. Yeah, so this is a very short lab. And also, um, it gets you hands on on how to use Impacket and how to elevate privilege using PSXEC. Remember that um, PSXEC, if you use that on a remote system with the uh, um, NTLM hash of the admin password of the domain admin password, you can you, um, you can use it um, like a patch the hash, some kind of um, authentication, which you can authenticate an admin privilege into the remote system using only the NTLM hash. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video. In the meantime, remember to join us on Discord and tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. UTC for BTLO replay. Thanks everyone and see you next time.